Chapter 15 The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, Give these further instructions to the Israelites. Any man who has a genital discharge is ceremonially unclean because of it. This defilement applies whether the discharge continues or is stopped up. In either case, the man is unclean. Any bedding on which he lies and anything on which he sits will be defiled. So if you touch the man's bedding, you will be required to wash your clothes and bathe in water, and you will remain ceremonially defiled until evening. If you sit where the man with the discharge is sat, you will be required to wash your clothes and bathe in water. You will then remain defiled until evening. The same instructions apply if you touch the man who has the unclean discharge. And if he spits on you, you must undergo the same procedure. Any blanket on which the man rides will be defiled. If you touch or carry anything that was under him, you will be required to wash your clothes and bathe in water, and you will remain defiled until evening. If the man touches you without first rinsing his hands, then you will be required to wash your clothes and bathe in water, and you will remain defiled until evening. Any clay pot touched by the man with a discharge must be broken, and every wooden utensil he touches must be rinsed with water. When the man's discharge heals, he must count off a period of seven days. During that time, he must wash his clothes and bathe in fresh spring water. Then he will be ceremonially clean. On the eighth day, he must bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons and present himself to the Lord at the entrance of the tabernacle and give his offerings to the priest. The priest will present the offerings there, one for a sin offering and the other for a whole burnt offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for the man before the Lord for his discharge. Whenever a man has an emission of semen, he must wash his entire body, and he will remain ceremonially defiled until evening. Any clothing or leather that comes in contact with the semen must be washed, and it will remain defiled until evening. After having sexual intercourse, both the man and the woman must bathe, and they will remain defiled until evening. Whenever a woman has her menstrual period, she will be ceremonially unclean for seven days. If you touch her during that time, you will be defiled until evening. Anything on which she lies or sits during that time will be defiled. If you touch her bed, you must wash your clothes and bathe in water, and you will remain defiled until evening. The same applies if you touch an object on which she sits, whether it is her bedding or any piece of furniture. If a man has sexual intercourse with her during this time, her menstrual impurity will be transmitted to him. He will remain defiled for seven days, and any bed on which he lies will be defiled. If the menstrual flow of blood continues for many days beyond the normal period, or if she discharges blood unrelated to her menstruation, the woman will be ceremonially unclean as long as the discharge continues. Anything on which she lies or sits during that time will be defiled, just as it would be during her normal menstrual period. If you touch her bed or anything on which she sits, you will be defiled, you will be required to wash your clothes and bathe in water, and you will remain defiled until evening. When the woman's menstrual discharge stops, she must count off a period of seven days. After that, she will be ceremonially clean. On the eighth day, she must bring two turtle doves or two young pigeons and present them to the priest at the entrance of the tabernacle. The priest will offer one for a sin offering and the other for a whole burnt offering. In this way, the priest will make atonement for her before the Lord for her menstrual discharge. In this way, you will keep the people of Israel separate from things that will defile them, so they will not die as a result of defiling my tabernacle that is right there among them. These are the instructions for dealing with a man who has been defiled by a genital discharge or an emission of semen, for dealing with a woman during her monthly menstrual period, for dealing with anyone, man or woman, who has had a bodily discharge of any kind, and for dealing with a man who has had intercourse with a woman during her period.